few old questions. Now, can you tell us how long you've been in the force at Austin? Uh, at Austin, I've been, I came to Austin 12 years ago from Wakefield City. I did seven years in Wakefield City. And uh, I've served Austin this last two or four years. I've been Slathwaite a few years, at Stormthorpe a few years, but um, as it has to come and gone as uh, as they've decided to promote me and uh, transfer me, etc. Do you enjoy your life? Oh you yes, I enjoyed every every minute. I enjoy it. The whole the whole aspect of the job. Every minute I enjoy. Yes, yes. And would you like to change it for another career? Are you happy enough in this career? I'm happy enough in this career. I like a career with more money to it, but I'm quite happy with this one. Yeah. We all like a career with more money. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up, Tony. Um, what are your crew like on the whole? Well, I have a, a mixed crew. I have young ones and uh, young, young to the service and old to the service. Uh, I have an excellent crew, as you saw in the small drill that we did. Yeah. The, uh, they're quite good at the job. They might have been in the middle of the job anyway. So. There's two other crews, isn't there, off its five Yes, it's comprised of three watches, red, white and blue watch. This is red watch. The pitch that you can hear is when a, a fire mobile, which is a fire engine which is attending a call or something like that, is, that is when they are transmitting to our control. Is it like uh, Houston when they're doing the rockets? Pardon? Is it like when they do it rockets at Houston, when they're, when they're talking back to each other? That's right. When when control speaks to uh, a fire engine attending a call, which is called a fire mobile, the the whole county, which uh, are out on wireless, can hear. But when I'd like to welcome you to the West Yorkshire Fire Service and this is a fire station based at Osset. There is um, quite a few stations in the county and this is just one small one. Now when you send a 999 call in, the call does not come here at the fire station. This system that you can see here in front of you, it is what we call a multiplex system for turning out the appliances. Now the 999 call is just on a normal telephone as you can see on my right. That is just an exchange telephone the same as you find in any kiosk or uh, private home. The 999 call goes via the GPO exchange. When you dial 999 the exchange operator asks you which service you require and then they will put you through to our brigade control which is at Birkenshaw in Bradford. They will take the message from whoever they're sending the call and then they will turn out the appropriate appliances from the appropriate station. If it's in Osset's area then we will be turned out and the system for turning out is that they press a button up to brigade control, turn out whatever appliances are needed, in this case at uh, Osset we have a water ladder whole time crew, a water tender retain crew and a water carrier for motorway incidents which is also a whole time crew. The system is that they will turn out the appliance, uh, the, the system that you've already heard, 
Now that noise is uh, the doormat as you come in the front door with it being on a multiplex system. First thing I'll do, I'll ask for a test call from the gate control, which is at Birkinshaw, in Bradford. Our call sign is Fox Foot 17, so you prefix your call by Fox Foot 17. Fox Foot 17, request short test, Fox Foot 17, over. <laughs> Two face masks, one small, one large, child or adult, the oxygen cylinder, respirator, aspirator, extricating mucus, foreign bodies from the throat, that's your manifold, that's your test bag, it's over there. Just turn it on. This is basically how it works. It forces air into the lungs, and as a pressure gets to a certain degree, it releases it back out again. The red mark there, that's, that's got 100 percent oxygen in there. And if you reverse it to the other side, you've got 50-50, 50 percent 50 oxygen, 50 percent air. And you operate it by just pushing it in. and from hydrants. All this which is there about it, extinguisher, grease gun. There's not much you can, you can tell about a featherweight pump. Uh, this locker. Chimney gear, branches, stamp pipe key and bar, all adaptions for your hose fittings. Lines, rescue lines, lowering down, flashing up. First aid kit, always carry first aid kit. Train warning horns, they get all basically fire service equipment which you might find anywhere else in such a large quantity. Okay, anything else, any questions you want to ask on that side? No? These are noble branches. Can you feel the weight? No? This is a water carrier. It's primarily designed for use on motorways where there's no water supplies. But it can also be used in rural, uh, rural areas, such as isolated farms, fields, etc. 
It also carries foam making equipment, which is this. for hose at the other side. KRA50, officially named. Below, we've got various pieces of equipment you've probably already seen on the other machine. Stamp pipes, keys and bars for water supplies. Branch as you've seen on the other machine. Various lamps, police accident sign, crowbar, suction wrench. This specially designed building is for training firemen in the wearing of breathing apparatus. And the building can be sealed, sealed off from outside light. All the windows can be closed up so that it's in total darkness. Also, we can fill it with smoke and we have a propane burning heater which will heat this section of the building so that when the men enter with the breathing apparatus, they're entering a well-simulated house full of smoke and heat. This gives a pretty authentic method of training men in the wearing of breathing apparatus. Here we have a two-tier section where men have to crawl. They can't do any other thing but crawl because of the height uh, being restricted. The upper floor, which you saw earlier, is typical of uh, what we find in a normal house fire. But we have to deal also with fires in industrial premises where it necessitates firemen to get down on their hands and knees and crawl. So we have this section which is designed so that men have to do just that. Right, a few questions then, children, to see what you have retained in your last two weeks that you've been here. 999 calls, how do we make them? How do we make a 999 call? And what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> 